Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are interested in self-development, working from home and entrepreneurship, you are at the right place. Can I tell you one of my best kept secrets for over 20 years now that has tremendously helped me both personally and professionally? And a lot of people are asking me, how I became the touch typist that I am now that enables me to have an average of 120 words per minute. Yes, you heard it right. I am typing now 120 words per minute and I believe that I still continue to type faster. And I know I may not be the fastest typist in the world, but I suppose that you want that too, right? What if I reveal to you now more about my journey and how I was able to have that skill in the expert level? But let me ask you this question first. Are you a hunt and peck typist or someone who uses the one or two fingers to search for letters to type? Don't fret, I was like that before. So stay with me until the end and I promise you that you will surely learn something from this video. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the not so commonly used keyboard layout or design that I have enjoyed using for my business, my profession, and my everyday life that has impacted my income as well. Although I know your background or profession or even your story may be different from mine, I am confident that this can also help you somehow because technology is a huge part of our life. And typing using our devices such as computers and laptops has been part of our everyday encounters, which in turn can impact your business, your relationships, and of course, your income. You may not be a person who requires a lot of typing just like myself, who is a transcriptionist or a typist, an author, a writer, a journalist, and whatnot, but I bet that you are, for the most part, not enjoying handwriting anymore. Because the reality is, you are more comfortable now with using your keyboards in your PC or your laptop to accomplish things like creating emails, writing content for your business, accomplishing school projects, browsing and buying stuff online or simply connecting with your family and friends on social media and i am pretty sure that you'd like to get the job done very efficiently and when i talk about being efficient you want to make sure that you type as fast as you can right does this one look familiar to you I don't know about you, but I certainly had used this one, a typewriter before, and it was back in the 1990s, I believe. Although it's much faster than handwriting, I still find it quite tedious and exhausting, leading to finger and wrist pain and sometimes elbow pain. Take a look at this keyboard. We know that this is a QWERTY layout because you can read the letters Q, W, E, R, T, Y that are located just below the number keys on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Now, you may wonder why the QWERTY keyboard is arranged the way it is instead of being arranged in alphabetical order as in A, B, C, D, E, and so forth. Let me backtrack its history. When typewriters and early prototypes of keyboards were invented with keys arranged in alphabetical order, people typed so fast that caused the characters or keys to jam or tangle. In that case, keys were randomly arranged or positioned to slow down typing. In other words, they had intentionally separated the common letters far apart from each other to prevent letters from jamming. You see that even though technology has advanced in such a huge degree, you still see the standard QWERTY layout in typewriters and keyboards that we use now. But here's the more interesting part, which caused me to film this video. 
there is another way to explore or at least improve your typing experience and speed by using DevRock typing. Is this something new to you? Let me explain further. So what is DevRock typing and how did it originate? First off, DevRock typing was named after the inventor of the DevRock layout sometime in the 1930s by Dr. August Deverach with his main goal of maximizing typing efficiency and making our typing experience much easier and ergonomically sound. I want you to take a closer look at these two keyboard layouts in front of you, namely Deverach and QWERTY. You will notice that the obvious difference is the arrangement of the keys or characters. And you may well ask, why change the standardized layout that we already know or are familiar with? It makes sense, right? Well, QWERTY will always be the widely used keyboard layout. There's no question about that. But who knows? Technology is very sophisticated and can change over time. And I know for a fact that there are still more keyboard layouts available out there in the market, but DevRock is another alternative to QWERTY that is designed for two main reasons among others. The first one is to minimize movement of the fingers, thus making your typing experience as easy and less strenuous or painful as possible. The second one is to improve speed. In other words, to improve your efficiency and based on research DevRock users improve their typing speed of up to 70% than those that use the QWERTY keyboard and I can speak for myself that yes I have massively improved my typing speed why is that so well the idea behind it is to have the most commonly used or typed keys or characters under the fingers thus making it as easy as possible to type common words and combination of letters. DevRock typists can certainly minimize their fingers' movements, enabling them to become touch typists or type faster with less strain or fatigue. You probably feel interested or curious at least to try and use the Devra keyboard, I suppose. Well, you have three options. First, you can buy your own Devra keyboard, but I believe this is a very, very rare find, so I'd not recommend that. Second, you can make use of your physical QWERTY keyboard and then manually swap or exchange positions of every key to make it the actual DevRock keyboard as you have seen. But this one I think requires a lot of work. So I don't think this is your best option, which brings me down to the third one. And I think this is the best recommendation and the easiest one because you don't have to touch anything from the outside as you can easily configure the settings in the software itself inside your operating system. And I will guide you shortly on that. So to change the settings from QWERTY to DevRock in seconds and vice versa, you first need to go to your control panel. And then under the clock language and region section, click the change input methods. So it's right here. Next is you click on the options link here and then you go to the add an input method right here. And then you'll see a variety of selections here and of course you will have to select the Devra layout that you want to use. But because mine is already set up, so I cannot click that here now, but you'll have to click that and then add, of course, save. You may want to also preview by clicking here. So you'll see the DevRock keyboard 
that will show up right there and then you close that and then you may want to just cancel this and then go back to the advanced settings on the left of change your language preferences that you can find here and then you click on that and what you have to do next is to go to change language bar hotkeys right here and then this window will appear and what I wanted to show you now is to also look at the language bar and click on or tick on the docked and the taskbar so you can see the as to whether you're using QWERTY or DevRock input language in your screen and then hit OK so you go back again to change language bar hotkeys and then you click on change key sequence to switch from QWERTY to DevRock and then DevRock to QWERTY in my case what I did was I made use of the combinations of control plus shift to do the job so you may want to explore whatever combinations you wanted to use so in this case you don't really have to worry about sharing your PC or your laptop with someone else because you can easily change the settings in a matter of a few clicks I have to make a disclaimer here that I have become the touch and fast typist that I am now attaining my 120 word per minute speed because of three things number one practice number two practice and number three practice and speaking of practice I will provide you with some of the free websites where you can practice your DevRock typing online the first one is typing.com number two typingclub.com and number three thepracticetest.com because I know everyone is different it is my personal opinion that you should go for whatever works for you best and as for me DevRock typing really helped me to escalate my typing speed that has continued to positively impact my productivity both personally and professionally and I believe it is my responsibility to share with you what I know so that it can help you also in some ways at least now you may be able to explore other options to improve your typing skill that you can take advantage of either for your personal use or your business so again, I invite you to please subscribe, like, and share this video so you will be notified of the information I'm going to be sharing in the near future. And I'll see you again next time. Godspeed!